this is like one of those things like kind of weird I feel a little better that you know we are saving the planet <laughs> even just a little bit at a time I feel a little better that our children will have a better future right hey mama strong my name is Michu and I help moms find ways to enjoy self-care and be the best versions of themselves with affordable beauty today's video is my Amazon favorites these are all the hair care and skin care so these are not pretty much these are pretty much not makeup these are all skincare and um, hair care I thought to share this with you because well Black Friday is right around the corner so this will help you out with your purchases with your choices so let's get started before we start don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet it will help my channel a whole lot it will tell YouTube to push out my videos to push out my channel to other viewers so that my channel can grow all right so we're gonna start with I guess we're gonna start with hair since that's all I can see in front of me so most of these things are like coming in pairs on Amazon which is very good and it's a very good deal too so we're just gonna start with this Husk uh, Monoi coconut oil this is a nourishing shampoo you guys have seen this on my um, Target haul but they also have it on at Amazon I mean why wouldn't they right <laughs> Amazon has almost pretty much everything anyway so this is um, nourishing shampoo um, so as you can see my hair is pretty much natural right now this is my natural hair curly hair but I don't change my shampoo I just change the things that I use after shower so this is the result so as you can see it does not change my hair texture in any way because this is a natural shampoo uh, pretty sure clean beauty so yeah it doesn't have paraben or sulfate or all that nasty stuff so anyways i really really like this when my my hair is like a little bit of like i have dry scalp you guys so when my scalp is a little bit on the dry side like i just need a little bit of pick me up a little bit of love i i use this as you can see i still have a lot but uh, trust me i use this a lot like i wash my hair a lot i have natural curly hair so uh if I don't use conditioner, which you will see how big my conditioner is and it's almost empty. But yeah, I use this a lot. And then the next thing is my curtain shampoo. I'm almost done with it, so you pretty much will see this again in my uh, empties video. But um, yeah, this is my uh, Husk Curtain Protein Shampoo. This is a smoothing shampoo. So this shampoo, I used this before, I bought this in, in, I was thinking of, you know, trying to get my hair like pretty straight pretty smooth and uh, well it's pretty much the opposite that happened um, but that's okay because it still works like I said I don't change my shampoo and conditioner at least I'm not gonna change it until I use everything up and then I'll probably use a curly shampoo later maybe but um, this is what I use now so I did use this to get this this type of hair so yes it's um, it works with curly hair too um like i said it's pretty clean this husk uh, brand is very clean and nice and they've come with like the shampoo come with a conditioner in pair i will link it down below of course and then the just like the same as this curtain shampoo also it comes with a conditioner so you can buy it in pair if you want to do that don't be crazy like me and just buying single things and mixing all the brands together uh, but you know, you can also do that if you want to experiment like me. <laughs> but anyways, my conditioner is actually this Aussie Total Miracle Conditioner. I used a different Aussie conditioner before this, but it's pretty much the same size and it's almost done, you guys. It's almost done because you all know, if you saw my um, get, ready with, get ready for the week video with me, um, I, I use this to shave too so I don't just use this on my head even though I use this a lot on my curly hair now but uh, I use it on my uh, to shave also so yeah I use it quite often and uh, it's very good the pump is really really good like you know in the shower it's mostly useful to use a pump on anything you use in the shower really this one is with apricot and Australian macadamia oil so yeah it's it's very nourishing it's very good for your hair i think yeah it's per uh paraben free it's paraben free so yeah it's good for your hair and then speaking of conditioner i'm using also this 
item right here. Um, I think I've, I've talked to you guys about this once before, but this is the L'Oreal Elviv 8 Second Wonder Water Hair so. Transforming. So it's almost done also, so you'll see this in my empties again. But anyways, this is like one of those things like kind of weird. When I first used it, I'm like, wait, what? Because it's actually when you use it, you put a little bit on your hand and then you put on, on your hair and then it's like your hair starts to warm up <laughs> it's really weird but it's so good you guys it's actually supposed to like you know brighten your hair it's supposed to make your hair shiny and it does it did work like it does work on my hair like my hair looks more alive when i use this i'm totally gonna repurchase this when i run out but this this if if you want to like get something like you know like you have those friends like they would like to try something new something funky get this for them for Christmas is what I mean these are like kind of like gift ideas at the same time because these are my favorites these are the things I love and I would recommend of course and then <laughs> next thing I want to I want to talk about since we're still on the hair I want to talk to you guys about my um, Shea Moisture hair mask. I'm not gonna show you too close because yikes. This is the Manuka Honey uh, and Mafura Oil. This is the Intense Hydration hair mask. I'm almost done. I'm literally like, yeah, you can see the bottom already, but um, ah, it smells so good, you guys. It's not like it's not like great, it doesn't smell great, but it smells good it smells okay it doesn't smell bad um, this is what I use uh, before shower when my hair is like like super 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 dry which doesn't ho doesn't happen often anymore since I'm in curly now but uh, before I used to like put that a lot on my hair and let it like soak in for like 15 minutes 20 minutes 35 minutes then I go in the shower and I do my regular you know shampoo conditioner routine this 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 is good this really is good um i wish that it was not in a tub like this because it's really like inconvenient to like scoop it but other than that it's, it's a good product and as always it's all natural so yay okay the next the last two hair products i'm gonna share with you you have seen this in my curly hair routine this is my Not Your Mother Curl Talk. This is the Defining Cream and the Freeze Control Sculpting Gel. Uh, these are empty bottles and I already purchased new ones, but these are so great, you guys. Um, so like I said, um, in my curly hair routine, um, I did try my daughter's products before on my hair before, when I like trying to like test out the water and it didn't work out for me at all. It didn't work out on my hair, but these ones, um you know that i've watched a lot of videos like for me i do research first before i share it with you guys so i did research first before i did it on my hair before i share it with you so i did a lot of research and this is the best one that i saw one of the curly girl curly girls on youtube used uh she has almost the same hair type as me so that's why i went with this but yeah certain hair types certain curls needs or react different with other products so this works best with my hair i believe i have 3a 3c type of curls i don't know but my daughter she has waves mostly now when I, I brush her hair um so she used different products but anyways these are so good you guys i mean this is what I use today, obviously. So, you know, it, my hair tells the, the story. <laughs> and I did not brush my hair today. Uh, today I finger combed it uh, because one of the curly mamas told me that yada yada yada. Anyways, so I tried that method and maybe I'll share that with you guys if I do like it enough. Right now it's really freezy, like it's kind of freezy. So. I don't know but i'll let you know if i do like it but these these are good and also always uh amazon already sell them in pairs so i'll share that down below as always and then that's conclude the hair products now moving on to face products you guys so first thing first uh, i will talk to you guys again about these because i've talked to them i've talked about them before in my previous haul this is part of my amazon haul i believe this is the um reusable makeup remover pads uh, i don't use this as a makeup remover probably that's why it's actually a little bit like in the strong like 
you know like how the the material is like in like exfoliating type but not like cotton type maybe that's why it's like that because it's a makeup remover but i use this as like reusable cotton pads pretty much so this is all the dirty ones and this is like the brand new one that i haven't touched yet i'm still debating if i want to do a giveaway on that or not but um yeah that's that's my favorite that's what i've been using over and over and over again i don't have any cut and bronze anymore well i have for my daughter's uh, toenail when i do her toenails and remove the the uh nail polish but other than that i don't use any cut and runs anymore so i feel a little better that you know we are saving the planet <laughs> even just a little bit at a time i feel a little better that our children will have a better future right anyways okay so moving on to next products since i'm using i'm using i'm talking about cotton rounds and reusable cottons i'm gonna talk about my micellar water so this is the last one i have i probably would not repurchase this just because um i have different ways to remove my makeup now as you all know maybe i will show you like the different ways you can do so that you have a ch you have choices but anyways <laughs> um this i love you you guys know i love this a lot but the thing is um i'm trying other things right now and i like those better not that i don't love this i love this and i like the blue cup much 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 better uh because that removes like waterproof mascaras and stuff waterproof liner but this is still good it's so gentle uh, this is actually what i use right now for toner because i ran out and uh i haven't bought any yet so this is what I have and I, I love it you guys it's so gentle and I have sensitive skin so yeah anyways talking about skin um, I don't know if I ever shared this like talk to you guys about this I know I've shared it in like make uh, skin care but I haven't shared in like sit down and talk to you about but this is my CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser uh for normal to dry skin it says so actually if you have normal skin you can use this um i think the reason why is because it's it's on the like light side this is not like really thick consistency as you can see so uh yeah um a lot of people rave about CeraVe like a lot a lot a lot of people i mean you know i'm a Cetaphil kind of girl but I did try CeraVe and I do like it. It does clean my face, but I feel like I cannot use it at night to remove makeup because it doesn't really feel squeaky clean. I feel like this is like a very gentle facial cleanser. Like you can use this like in the morning, for example, like, or if you're doing a double cleanse, then you can do this too because it's very light. It's not going to strip out your skin, yada, yada, yada. But if you like, it, you shouldn't use it at night that's what i'm trying to say if you need your makeup to be like fully off your face i feel like and um, unless i do a double cleansing i sh i wouldn't use this but other otherwise this is very good this is very um it's very good for dry skin and it's also like not not expensive it's very affordable um, I lost my train of thought a little bit, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a good product if you have like the same skin type as me, combination skin or dry skin, sensitive skin, this is great. Okay, speaking of face, face wash, face wash, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys about my Mario Badescu Skincare Enzyme Cleansing Gel. So this one, this one, look at the top so cute you guys i had the travel size for a long time and then i finally finished it and i purchased the big one yada 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 i think i've already told you guys about that story but anyways um this is for all skin types so anybody can use this literally anybody i have combination skin and this works great for me but because i have combination skin my t-zone tends to be a little oily this is so good because gel is usually good for oily skin um so that's why this is so good for me but like, like i said it says all skin um, all skin type so it's good and i believe this is a cruelty free company this is made in usa so all that good stuff right this is what i have in my shower for a double cleansing so i have this and i have two other cleanser in there but um yeah i use this for double cleansing with my brush my uh luna my um yeah my 
Is it Luna? My my face brush. I totally forgot the name right now, but I'll put it right there. But anyways, yeah, that's that. I actually I forgot to mention that face brush because it's, I got it from Amazon. Also, we can get it from Amazon. But anyways, moving on, I have a couple more stuff to share with you. Left these products. These have been rave raved by a lot of beauty gurus on youtube or even not on youtube but like on instagram i've seen some pinterest i've seen some but this this is a great product you guys this is the bliss um invisible daily sunscreen spf 30 100 percent mineral so i've changed my uh, skincare i probably should update you guys with my false morning skincare now because i don't use the same um most um, SPF anymore from Cetaphil. I, mean, I use that on my body, but I don't use it on my face anymore. I use this, and oh my gosh, you guys, it made so much, it made such a difference, like you have no idea. Like, okay, so what happened was, <laughs> um, before, I use my Cetaphil, I love my Cetaphil, like I told you, like I'm a big Cetaphil fan, right? But, um, fan, 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 <laughs> but, um, I realized that every time I wear it, like my 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 eyes tends to be watery, like it tends to get irritated. So I stopped using the SPF and I stopped using the eye cream as well. And I do remember that before I used to use that eye cream and I I stopped, but I don't remember why I stopped. So I bought it again recently and and it did the same thing. Like my eyes just get so like burned and watery and irritated. So I stopped and ever since I stopped and I switched to this, oh my gosh, guys. But the thing you need to know about this is it has a color for, whoops. The thing you need to know about this is it has a color first. As you can see, it's a little bit beige. But once you mix it in your, into your skin, it's going to blend in and, you know, follow your skin tone. And oh, it's so good, you guys. Um, you can wear it under makeup. But the thing is, this is not a moisturizer. This is just an SPF. So you actually need to put use a moisturizer before you use this. I used to use my La Roche-Posay moisturizer. But uh, I, for some reason, I can't find it, you guys. It's, it's nowhere to be found in my house. So I don't know. I don't know. I gotta ask my one-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old where my moisturizer is. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah. I put my uh, La Roche Posay first, and then I put this since La Roche Posay, my La Roche, po La Roche Posay doesn't have SPF, so I put this after. Ooh, so good! But since I lost this, I put my Nivea first, and this, and it doesn't really look good under makeup because the Nivea is a little bit too heavy, so it's not really good. But anyways, this is so good, you guys, and it's mineral, so it's it's great. It's great. Okay, and uh, I guess last but not least, my dear uh, African Black Soap by Shea Moisture. This is the Overnight Resurfacing Serum. You guys have seen this multiple, multiple times in my uh, skincare video because I do really use it. And look, I still have so much of it still, but I do really use these products. I love these products. This is one of the reason why like my acne scar have been fading away. This is one of the reason why. One of the reason why because there's a lot. I can share that with you again in another video. If you're interested, let me know. But yeah, that's pretty much everything, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you do. If you find any value in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. You have no idea. Like, once you have a reaction, you comment, you subscribe. Like, YouTube will push my video to other viewers so that my channel can grow and it can be monetized and da 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 da. -da. Or I can be monetized again since I've been, you know. Anyways, <laughs> that's that's pretty much it, Mama Strong. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, come back to for another video. I'll have another video again next week sorry last week i mentioned that that video the whole video was a bonus video but uh i got sick <laughs> i got sick for a couple of days so i wasn't able to film any other video for you guys so that's why that 
video was the only video that was up but anyways that was that is still a bonus video so i will still give you guys an additional video this week but um yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in another video